Hey guys, it's me, Sean, not the sheep, and currently my hair is purple, and, and also I'm um, working on this pro another project that's sort of similar to the previous one, which is also like a light sculpture kind of thing, and this time I wanted to sort of capture the sort of the fun and magical and imaginative aspect and characteristic of childhood and so I went to Savers just now and I bought this children's book which is um very classic Winnie the Pooh everyone's favorite childhood ch children's book and so right now I am cutting a hole in the book which is really sad because these illustrations are so cute uh, but I need a hole in it so I can fit in these LED strips and my breadboard and my circuit board and my battery. And so the idea is that um, this motor will spin and it will sort of hit the, the cover of the book like that. And as the book is being opened, you will see the light inside. And sort of what I'm trying to do is like making the book feel like it's coming alive, basically. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to cut this book up. <laughs> what I've got so far um, so this is gonna go in there I've programmed a light pattern that is that is stored in that thing so I don't need to connect it to my computer anymore and so if I plug it to a power source that should light up yeah ooh mm-hmm so I sort of changed my um, idea because the first um, thing didn't work, the motor idea didn't work. So now um, I'm going to try to incorporate sound to it. So maybe putting like natural, like foresty and like children's laughter sound or maybe even like this, um, like a sample of Weenie the Pooh talking or something. I don't know. But I'm just gonna go along with whatever works. Uh, yeah. Um, okay, so this is what it looks like now. <sighs> um, I don't know. I think it looks okay. I don't... But on this side, you can see, like, the wires and everything, which is kind of annoying. So I might cover that with a piece of paper. Um... I don't know. Or maybe it's fine. Eh. I don't know. So I noticed that I don't really like when it sort of like turns off. So I am going to re-upload my code. Um, I think I'm just gonna like delete these. So it's more continuous. Hopefully it looks better. Arr. And upload should be should change now there you go see now it doesn't like turn off it just keeps going which is better yay
Excuse my hair. I am not in the mood to do anything about it, but I'm, I just finished uh, that stupid book light thing. Um, honestly, like, I don't know, because I'm taking two pretty similar classes. This project was pretty, pretty, um, pretty much the same as my previous project, which was like uh, also a light project. Um, but this one involved more coding and more sort of using software. Um, but, you know, I'm just trying to get this over with because now I'm working on another project, which is uh, making my own instrument using using code as well. So I just finished um, setting up my breadboard. Um, so what we have here is a pot that controls, why is it not focusing? Uh, the frequency or something, I'll control something later. I haven't set it up yet. These are two buttons that does something. I haven't set it up yet either. And two speakers and a larger one with volume control. Um, yeah, so I have two speakers here because I want to, sort of have different harmonies going on, like multiple um, sounds coming out at once, and I don't think I can do it with just one speaker. Um, so let's see if that works. So right now I have it set up so that this button turns this on, this button, and then you, the other one just keeps running or something. I don't know. Let's try it out. <laughs> so yeah, that's the, I think it's this button. Oh, it doesn't work. Uh, oops. Why? Why isn't it working? Uh, oh, well, I gotta figure that out. Bye. Uh, I think I'm pretty much done with the software and hardware and now I just have to practice my little performance um, using the instrument that I made um, but <laughs> all the sounds like don't really match up and I don't really have like a transition I don't know let's see how it goes <laughs> Okay, that's all right. Let's start with that then. Uh, this is so bad. Uh...